on the exhale, draw the knees into a your test, hug them in with both arms, give them a good squeeze in until you feel a nice release in your hips, maybe even in your low back. Two more deep breaths here. See if you can allow the backs of the shoulders here to relax down towards the floor. And then from here, step your feet down onto the floor. Knees are pointing up towards the sky. You have both legs together, so the feet are touching. From here, walk your hips a little bit over towards the left side so that you come onto the outside edge of the right hip. Allow your knees to fall to the right. Either extend the arms out sideways if you have the space. If you don't have the space, just bring your arms up at a 90 degree angle. And then from here, take a moment here to make sure that your left shoulder is connected to the floor. If it's not, you can walk your shoulders a little bit over towards the right side to bring that left shoulder down. And as long as it feels good for the top uh, of your back here and your neck, you can look over the left shoulder. Gently close your eyes. And once you're in the pose, allow the whole body to relax. So if the legs want to part, allow them to do so. We'll take four more deep breaths. Bring the awareness towards the muscles that are running alongside your spine. And see if you can allow those to relax. Last deep breath in and out. From here, just allow the arms to remain where they are. Bring your feet back onto the floor. Walk your hips over towards the right side and then your knees will come over towards the left side. Again, check your shoulders here. A lot of times this right shoulder will uh, be a bit away from the floor. So to correct that, walk your shoulders over towards the left side until the right shoulder comes down. And then as long as it feels good, you can look over your right arm. See if you can slowly start to deepen your breath here. Breathe all the way down towards the base of your spine. Two more deep breaths. Last breath in and out. And then from here, come back to the middle. This time, extend the legs forward, take hold of opposite elbows, and then press the arms down towards the floor so that you create a nice opening here in the armpits and the chest. From here, across your right foot over the left one. You're going to walk both feet over towards the left corner of your mat. Keep your hips where they are. And then, again, while keeping the hips where they are, walk your shoulders over towards the left side as well. So you're making a curve with the body, wiggling yourself into a banana body. You can walk the shoulders as far as you want to until you feel a comfortable stretch on the right side of your body. And then see if you can press your right hip down into the floor. It will have a tendency to want to peel away from your mat. So press it down. And then we'll also activate the legs. So press through the balls of both feet forward until you feel your legs activating. This should help intensify the stretch on the right side of your whole body. Two more deep breaths. Last one. And then wiggle yourself back to the middle. Uncross your legs. This time bring the left foot over the right one. And then switch your arms so that your non-dominant arm is on top this time. From here, you walk your feet over towards the right corner of your mat. Again, hips stay stable where they are. Walk your shoulders over towards the right side as well. And just wiggle them over. Again, until you feel a good stretch here. So depending on your flexibility, you go as far or you keep as close to the midline. From here, press your left hip down into the floor. 
Again, activate your legs by pressing through the balls of the feet forward. Perfect. Make sure you're relaxing the shoulders here. You can imagine your shoulder blades melting down into your mat. One more breath in and out. And then from here, wiggle your way back to the middle, walk your feet in, bring the arms alongside the body, and then you can tuck your hips a little bit under. So lifting the hips up, placing them a little bit further, and then bringing them back down so that your low back is flat onto the floor. From here, make sure you have your palms facing up, maybe tuck your shoulder blades under uh, one more time to make sure that your chest is open. From here, bring your awareness to your feet. Start pressing your heels firmly down into the floor. You'll notice that this will help you already activate some muscle in the legs. And then as you're pressing the heels down, imagine that at the same time you're also pulling the heels in. So it's a downward and an inward motion. And you'll notice from the moment that you imagine dragging the heels in, you'll feel your hamstrings starting to activate. So the backs of the thighs here. Once you have your heels there, keep that action going. Start squeezing your butt cheeks. So engage your glutes. And then from here, press further through the heels to lift your hips up. Make sure that you keep that action going throughout this whole um, bridge position here. So you keep pushing the heels down and in. You keep engaging your glutes. You wanna make sure that as you engage your glutes, you also engage the inner thighs. You don't want to allow your uh, knees to splay out to the side. So the knees stay in line with the hips. Good. One more deep breath in. And then we'll make it more active. On the exhale, you come down. Inhale, lift up again. Make sure you're engaging the muscles of the legs here. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Keep engaging your glutes, your booty muscles throughout this whole sequence, even when you're bringing your hips down. Last one. And exhale down. Perfect. Bring the elbows alongside your rib cage here with your hands facing up and the palms will face one another. From here on the inhale, you lift the hips up. You bring your left hand over the right shoulder and you reach as far as you can. So you're twisting with the spine here on the exhale. You bring it back down. Inhale, reach your right arm over the left shoulder, reach as far as you can. Exhale down. Inhale, reach over towards the right side. Exhale down. Inhale over the left shoulder. Exhale down. Good. Three more here uh, of these pairs, just following your own breath. So on the inhale, you reach. On the exhale, you come over. This usually feels really good, especially first when waking up. I usually get a lot of cracks here, <laughs> a lot of tension being released. Good. One more on each side. And exhale, come back to the middle. Bring your knees into your chest, firmly hug them in. As long as it feels good, you can gently sway from side to side with your hips and your legs. Notice if this doesn't feel good for your spine, you can stay still in the middle. It should feel like a nice little massage, especially for the low back here. And then from here, take hold of the backs of the thighs, roll forward, come to a cross-legged seated position. From here on the inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fold over. Allow your spine to remain as tall as possible Make sure your hips stay connected to the floor. Two more breaths. Last breath. On the inhale, walk the hands about halfway towards your body. See if you can roll over the knees and come to a tabletop position. So in your tabletop position, you have your wrists right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. From here, we'll do a few rounds of cat and cow to awaken the spine just a little bit more. So on the inhale, you hollow the back. 
In other words, you'll start opening the front side of the upper body. So you press your hips up. It feels as if your tailbone is kind of pointing up towards the sky. You allow the belly to drop down. You glide your shoulder blades down the spine and you look up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, you round the back. So you pull everything up and away from the floor. Bring your chin into your chest. Inhale, hollow the spine. And see if you can allow the movement to start in the low back and end in your head. Exhale, round. One more round. Inhale, hollow. And exhale, round. On your inhale, come back to neutral. Bring your awareness to your belly button. You're going to pull your belly button in towards your spine and then see if you can gently lift it up towards your heart so it's an inward and an upward motion keep your core engaged there this is called uriana banda by the way from this core engagement on the next inhale bring your right leg straight behind you and make sure that your hips stay nicely in line a lot of people here will have a tendency to roll the right hip open to be able to bring their right leg higher up the aim here is not to bring your leg up as high as possible. You want to keep your hips nicely squared with the mat. So engage the inner thighs to make sure that your hips are stable. Bring your awareness to your right hand. Make sure you really spread your fingers as far apart from one another. Grip your fingertips into the floor. And then from here, um, extend your left arm forward. Good few more breaths this is a bit of a challenge for your balance see that you can maybe press a little bit higher up from the floor so you're lifting from the right armpit up one more inhale exhale bring it back down good we'll switch over to the other side again first check that your core is nicely engaged so pull the belly in and gently up from this core engagement extend your left leg back Again, making sure that you're not rolling the left hip open. So you don't want to do this. You want to engage the inner thighs so that your hips stay flat and in one line as if it's a table here. All right. Check your, the fingers of your left hand. Make sure they're spread far apart. Group your left fingertips into the floor. We're doing this to protect our wrist here and to distribute the weight over the whole hand. Reach your right hand forward. Lift through the left armpit up. Two more breaths. See if you can engage your left leg here by either pushing through the heel or the ball of the foot back. Last inhale. And exhale, bring it back down. From here, walk your hands one palm forward, tuck your toes under, and come to a downward dog. Feel free to pedal out the feet here. So bending one knee at a time. You could even bring a stretch into the side body by pivoting over the feet and pressing your hips from side to side. Good. Gently come to stillness in your downward dog. Take a look forward to your hands. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Again, a lot of space in between the fingers here. Grip your fingertips into the floor. From here, allow your head to hang heavy. No tension in the neck. Press the upper arms together towards one another. Spread your shoulder blades. So broaden your shoulders, in other words. And then press your chest back towards the knees. Feel free to keep your knees bent if that makes it a little bit gentler on the hamstrings here, the backs of the legs. Good. We're going to hold it for four more breaths. Three more. See if you can press the backs of the thighs back towards the wall behind you. Keep lengthening the spine. As you can see, we're warming up the body now. <laughs> One more big inhale and exhale. On the inhale, look forward. Bend your knees even more. And exhale, step the feet forward towards the front of the mat. Bring your feet hips distance apart. Exhale, fold over. Feel free to take hold of opposite elbows here. And as long as it feels good for your lower back, you can gently sway from side to side. Allow your head to remain heavy here. And 
two more breaths. Last breath cycle. Your right, next inhale, come halfway up. So you extend your spine forward and you just bring your hands wherever they can land. So maybe that's onto the upper thighs, maybe onto your shins, or if you're quite flexible, they might actually even be able to touch the floor. On the exhale, fold over again. Inhale, roll all the way up, bring the arms overhead, stretch out the whole body. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. We'll go through a few Surya Namaskara A's. Exhale, fold. In other words, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come to a plank position. So step both feet back. Make sure your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Engage your core. Press their heels back without moving the shoulders back. So you don't want to do this. You want to keep your shoulders uh, on top of your wrist, but you want to press the heels back without actually moving the rest of the body. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Bring your knees down first. Place your chest in between your hands and your chin rests onto the floor as well. Knees, chest, and chin. Press the elbows in towards the body. All right, next inhale, lift your chest through the hands. Hips come down, untuck the toes. Inhale, baby cobra. So just lift your chest. Exhale, downward dog. Two breaths in your downward dog here. Again, feel free to keep your knees bent if that feels better. But see if you can start working towards bringing the heels down towards the floor and extending the legs. One more breath in and out. On your inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Take either little steps or maybe two big steps towards the front of the mat. Feet still, hip distance. Inhale, come halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. Bring the arms overhead. And exhale, hands in front of the heart. One more round. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold over with a flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank position. Good, two breaths here. Feel free to have your plank on your knees if that feels better for your low back here. Make sure your core is nicely engaged. Make sure you have a lot of space in between the fingers. Grip your fingertips into the floor. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Come to your knees, chest and chin. So the chest comes right in between the hands. Your hips are facing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Good. Again, two breaths in your downward dog. Feel free to move if that feels better to you, or you could just stay still. Make sure to spread your shoulder blades and press the upper arms together. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop towards the front of the mat. This time, either feet hip distance apart, or if you feel like your legs are ready for it, you can bring the feet together. Big toes touching, heels slightly apart, and then bend over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. Reach the arms up, press through the feet down. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time on the exhale, step only the right foot back. Bring your right knee down to the floor. Make sure your left uh, ankle is underneath your left knee, so they're in line. Inhale, reach the arms up. Make sure to properly engage the core here. So again, belly goes in and up from that core engagement. Stay so your hips down towards the floor so that you feel a good release here at the front of the right thigh. Arms reaching up. Make sure you keep your shoulders relaxed. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step your left foot back, come towards a plank. Take one deep breath in. Exhale, shift the weight forward, bring the knees down. Bring your chest and your chin down as well. Look forward, inhale, either baby cobra or full cobra by pressing through the hands. Keep the elbows bent. Exhale, downward dog. 
Good, one deep breath in and out. From here, look forward, bend the knees, step your right foot forward, bring the left knee down. Again, make sure that your right ankle is underneath the knee. Inhale, reach the arms up. Of course, stays engaged as you press your hips forward and down. See if you can lengthen even more through the spine. Last inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down. Lift your left knee off of the floor and step the left foot forward. Again, either feet hip distance or big toes touching. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, bring the arms up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. On the exhale, bend your knees, sit your hips back, come to Utkatasana, chair pose. So imagine you have a chair behind you and you're trying to sit your bum onto the chair. So your weight is pulling back. Most of the weight is into the heels. Core stays engaged. Two more breaths. And then from here, walk your feet hip distance apart if they weren't hip distance yet. And then as slow as you can, come all the way down to the floor. Make sure you're nicely engaging your booty muscles here. Come as low as you can. If you can't go any further, place the hands behind you, sit your hips down, walk them towards the middle of the mat. Legs are together. Take hold of the back sides of the thighs. Inhale, extend your spine. So lengthen your spine up. Reach your shoulder blades back. From here on the exhale, start leaning back until you feel your toes becoming weightless. And then lift the lower legs until they're about parallel to the floor. We're in a vasana right now. You have the option to stay in this modification, holding onto the thighs. This is option one. Option two, reach the arms forward so that the arms are in line with the legs here. Make sure you keep that length in the spine. Start engaging your legs in towards one another. From here, bring the hands behind you, cross the right leg over the left one until they're fully crossed. Let me show that from this side in case you didn't see that. Right leg over the left one, left foot comes to the right hip, right foot comes over to the left side. So left leg is bent under, right leg is over. All right, from here, make sure that you can sit up right. If you can't sit up right, come to sit either onto a cushion or you can fold your mat over a few times so that you sit a little bit higher. Right hand comes behind you. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, wrap the left arm around the right knee. Press the right knee in towards your chest. Press your right hip down and then twist open towards the right side with your spine. You should feel a nice release here on the outside of the right hip, but also throughout the spine since we're twisting. One more breath in and out. Inhale, come back through the middle. From here, come back to your Navasana. Either option one or option two. Again, firmly press your legs in towards one another. Good, two more breaths. Make sure you keep pulling the core in. All right, next inhale, bring the hands behind you. This time you will bring your right leg under, left leg on top. So your right knee is facing forward. Right foot is on the outside of the left hip. Your left leg is coming over and the foot is on the right side here. So next to your right upper thigh, again, Option two, elevate the hips a little bit to make it more comfortable to you. And you want to make sure that you can sit upright here. Left hand will come behind you. Inhale, big breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, take hold of your left leg. Pull the knee in towards your chest. Press your left hip down into the floor. And then open your chest towards the left side. So it feels as if your chest is spinning away from the left upper thigh. Make sure you keep lengthening here through the low back. As long as it feels good, you can look over the left shoulder. One 
One more breath in and out. Inhale, come back to the middle. Last one here, extend your legs forward. Legs are together. If you want to, uh, you can take hold of the flesh of the hips, bring it out to the side until you feel your sits bones in direct contact with the floor. Again, another option is to come to sit onto a block, a pillow, or just roll the back of the mat under so that you're a little bit higher and you can sit up straight. All right, inhale, reach your arms up, take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. From that elongation in the spine on the exhale, fold over. See if you can keep especially the lower part of your spine tall. And it doesn't matter if you can't reach your toes, just grab onto whatever you can hold onto. Maybe it's the floor, maybe it's your thighs, your shins, ankles, toes. You just want to work here on um, bending forward or folding forward from the hips, not so much from the spine. Bring your awareness to your hamstrings, so the backs of the thighs here. Notice if you can feel any spots in the hamstrings that feel extra tense. And then bring your awareness to those spots. See if you can allow them to relax and to release. Make sure you keep breathing deeply here. The breath will assist you to be able to go deeper. 